one of your friends pops off the wrong way, or maybe a family member pops off the wrong way. If, if, if Dupree comes in with the right punch, and this is a family member, go ahead, I can, I can go into this joint lock here, and I can be like, hey, look, Uncle Bob, you know, calm the shit down. You had one too many, you know what I mean? And I don't have to hurt him, I can just control, right? But, I mean, if it's not somebody that, that, that you care about, and it's someone that's trying to cause you harm and what and whatnot, well, then that's where the striking skills comes into play. That's also, you do the same damn technique one more time. As he comes in, I move in. This is someone you don't really care about. You can just finish through and break the thing. You don't have to control and tell Uncle Bob to calm his ass down. When you're doing joint locks, it's also teaching you how to beat the weakness of the human body. So, like, if you do that same technique again, it's other right punch again. When I go off and I go and attack that elbow, right, it doesn't matter all the weight training he does, he can go stand up for me, sweetie. If he does all these bicep curls and bench presses and bent over rows and all that kind of stuff, he builds the muscles. He can get his biceps bigger. He can get his triceps bigger. You can do lots of things to get your forearms bigger. But your elbows are not getting bigger. Regardless of how big the muscles are around the skeletal system, the skeletal system is the skeletal system. And if you understand how to manipulate that joint and break it, and you understand how many pounds of pressure it takes for each joint, you can fight the weakness of the human body. The human body, the form itself, is not as strong as people think. You're not the Hulk. You're not Superman. You know? I mean, it's just simply not. We are roughly, I know I've said this on the internet one time, and someone came in with some damn, damn decimal point. We are roughly 80% water, right? And I know it's like 70 something, something, something. Like, oh no, I, I get what you're saying, but it's really like 72 point da -da 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 percent fluid. <laughs> Okay, whatever. You round it up. We're about 80% fluid. If I gave you a, a substance that was 80% fluid with a soft, pliable shell on it, there is nothing that you can't kill or hurt with one of these. Right? It doesn't matter whether it's someone the size of, like, The Rock or someone as small as, like, Steve Urkel. Right? That's an older TV show. Probably showing my age when I say that, huh? But if you stab them, they're going to bleed the same. Right? Jujutsu, or the, the arts that we're looking at right now, we're trying to look at the idea of manipulating the skeletal system so that we can control the joints, we can control the skeletal system, and we can defeat them without the punches and kicks. Now, the reason that's a big, a big thing is because in the, in the old days, when you have samurai on the battlefield, you can't punch and kick someone wearing armor. You, you, you catch what I'm saying? So you have to be able to manipulate their joints and then get to your weapons to take them out. So let's look at the same technique like this. Let's say that, you know, it's 15th century kind of thing, right? Whatever, paint, you guys can paint an old Japanese image in your head, right? And here's this, we're gonna go with the, the evil samurai and the good ninja, because, you know, the movie is painted the other way around. So let's, let's go the other way around with it. We've got the evil samurai that's wanting to like, you know, talk shit. And then the, 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 the good ninja, right, that just wants to defend myself, right? So as he comes in with this hard push right in here, and I go in to manipulate that joint, and maybe he's wearing some sort of, like, dull, so maybe even wearing some of the armor here, maybe Kote, the armor here. I manipulate that joint, and I press him down here, and as I sweep him out, see, I've still got this lock on that elbow. I pull my knife, and that gets me that little shot right there, or whatever it is that I want to cut. So it gets me an opportunity in that time in history. I'm not saying... That's what you should do if Uncle Bob gives you a push, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying that it gives you an opportunity to protect yourself against someone wearing armor. Because you want to be able to defeat the weakness of the human body. The human body doesn't matter how big someone is, how fast they are, how quick they are. The human body is still the human body. It still poses the same amount of weaknesses. And if you can understand outside of the skeletal structure and the muscular structure, if you're good at reading taijutsu, you understand your own weapons, your own ability, and you can read how they're moving, you can always take advantage of those weaknesses. Which is why we have the seven traditions within the school. So as he comes in, go ahead, I'm gonna push it off and I move up underneath like this. Now as I pivot in, he's gonna turn in and throw a punch, right? So there's that punch right there. And as he throws the punch, I'm gonna block Makura, I'm gonna slide underneath, and now I'm gonna throw with the Gansake Nage. Bang, he goes down. Now once we get down like this, I know we're out of camera, but I'll just do it again. I'll throw him again. <laughs> We're gonna take this and then step right into that Tegatami type technique we talked about where I step over, throw him to his belly, and there's that lock again on that other. Watch what I'm doing. If I push that, he's gonna hit me here. So I gotta get away from that. 
going through that, that gate, right? So I'm going to push that through, going to big ten nokomai, and push through right in here. Now he throws that punch right there. There's your Makura Uke. I pull through. Look how I still got that wrist. Going in with Gansake Nage. I lift, and as I get that elbow, I'm going to push over, take him to his belly. And I can even put that here on the elbow and get that lock. Do you see how we did it? So as he throws his right punch right foot lead, I move here, and I go underneath, and there's the roll. Now, from there, I want to make sure that I parry this hand through and watch as I rotate around to, if we're looking at breaks, this would be like a Tegatami, right? If we're looking at breaking, right? This would be like a Yoko Kotegeishi, and then you finish with Kotegeishi. If you're looking at it from that perspective, okay? So, as he comes in again, I'm gonna parry it off, I go one, and then he goes through, I gotcha. I push up, and I come in here. When you got the two hand grab, I'm gonna have you go over the top, counter grab, to this side, this hand comes underneath, and as you snake through, you're pushing this elbow out to kind of get this, this shot right here, right? Now, as you get this wrist lock, so I've pinned this arm to my chest, and I'm getting this lock coming in here. I'm gonna rotate this over, and I've got this. Now, once I'm here, I'm gonna sweep this leg out, and it's gonna end very similar to like what you see with your Rinsuko Wazas. Sweep, I'm gonna pin it up, slide down, get there, and then we'll cross cover out, okay? One. Two, sweep, there we go, and then we're out. The first version, right punch, right foot lead, we're parrying this off and we're gonna go into that Ikkyo to this 180. Now as I push through here, now we gotta get Shionage. The way that we're gonna do Shionage, this arm's gonna go up and I need you to get it over your head, okay? Now as you get the arm above the head, you're going to turn, you're gonna kinda pivot through to where that's on your shoulder and then turn through. Let's turn this way for the guy in there. Now once you're here, I want you to see that you're gonna take this wrist Pull it right down his spine, you know, okay? Just like you would draw a sword and cut down, right? And as you do this, he drops down, just like that. I want you guys to bring your back foot up, put it on the elbow, left foot back, and then we're gonna get a break to the arm, just like that. Comes in, 